Able's in on air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners with Ableton On Air include Yachad, New York, and New England, where everyone belongs, and the Orthodox Union. Abel Dinonair has been seen in the following publications. Parkchester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www.h.com. Hello and welcome to this edition of Able Dead On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I've always been your host, Lauren Seiler. And, uh, and by the way, Arlene is here today. Say hi, Arlene. Hello, this is Arlene Seiler. Okay. And uh, by the way, we would like to thank Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many other supporters and, um, and sponsors. For this, uh, for this educational program uh, that, um, by the way, has been uh, uh, in Vermont and beyond for the last, um, you know, for the last 25 plus years, I've been a journalist uh, in this area, but uh, for the last eight years, we've been here in Vermont. And uh, we would like to say thank you again to our supporters and sponsors. On this uh Part two of uh, of this part two of um, scams. Uh, I finally took my mask off. Um, in this part two of scams, uh, we would like to uh, go through. Um, you know, last time was part one. This is part two. Uh, we would like to um, go through the Bernie Madoff case. You know, now people with special needs um, have gone through. Uh, a lot of scams lately, whether it be medical scams or other scams. But let's go through um, the Bernie Madoff case. Um, now, Bernie Madoff was a Ponzi schemer who died in prison at age of 82, according to Associated Press. Bernard Madoff, the infamous architect with an epic securities swindle that burned thousands of investors outfoxed regulators and earned him uh, a 150-year uh, prison term, died behind bars last Wednesday at 82 years old. Uh, Madoff's death at the federal level, uh, at the Federal Medical Center in Burton, North Carolina, <clears throat> has been confirmed by his lawyer and the Borough of Prisons. Last year, Madoff's lawyer unsuccessfully <clears throat> asked, the court, asked the court to release him from prison during coronavirus pandemic, said he suffered from end-stage renal <clears throat> failure and chronic uh, medical conditions. One of these lawyers, Brandon Sample, uh, said last Wednesday, it was believed that Madoff died from natural causes due to his failing health. An article from the Associated Press goes on to say, for a decade, Madoff enjoyed an image of self-made financial guru whose Midas touch defied, uh, defied markets, uh, uh, market uh, flux, uh, fluctuations. Yeah. A, a former chairman of the NASDAQ stock market said that he, uh, he attracted and devoted legion of investment clients from Florida retirees to celebrities such as film director Steven Spielberg, actor Kevin Bacon, and 
Hall of Fame pitcher Sandy Koufax. Yeah. But yeah, man, everybody famous or not, lose money. Exactly. Um, but his investment, but his investment advisory business was exposed in twenty in two thousand eight as a Ponzi scheme that wiped out people's fortunes and ruined charities. He became so hated that he was bulletproof. He was he wore a bulletproof vest to court. The fraud <clears throat> was believed to be the largest Wall Street. Uh, Ponzi scheme in history. Over the years, court-appointed trustees laboring to unwind the scheme have uh, recovered more than $14 billion of an estimated $17.5 billion. Investors put into the Midas business at this time, at, at the time of Madoff's arrest, uh, his fake account statements were telling clients that they have hold, holdings worth more than $60 billion. Madoff pleaded guilty in March of, of 2009 to securities fraud and other charges saying he was deeply sorry and ashamed. You know, um, getting to this, you know, like I said, there are different scams, okay? But, but... You know, if you're if if you're scammed out of money, your hard earned money, especially if you're a retiree or a person with a disability, that that's not good. Uh, now, uh, last show we spoke about um, you know us being scammed out of a certain amount of money when you go to a dentist. You know, you have to be really careful. As a matter of fact, let's. Uh, Quickly, um, type of medical scams. Let's go through that. No type of schemes. No, no, no. But there's medical scams. Anything you buy online could be any type of scam. Medical or not, could be any type of scam. <laughs> okay. Um, talk about healthcare fraud for a minute. Um, five common types of healthcare fraud, and how to report uh, your suspicions. There are five types of med healthcare fraud in the United States and, and the world, and how to, how to, how to report that. Um, in terms of federal, uh, if you suspect healthcare fraud, now this is important, if you suspect healthcare fraud in any way, you may be able to report your suspicions under the uh, federal guidelines, KTAM, pro, uh, KTAM pro provisions, which allow uh, private individuals the opportunity to share their information with the federal government in exchange for percentage uh, reward of the ultimate settlement or verdict. Now, number five, uh, you must be aware of the following schemes, okay? Kickback schemes. Kickbacks are rampant in the healthcare industry. In general, it's unlawful for any doctor or medical facility to receive anything of value, cash, equity, or gifts of another doctor. Healthcare facility, healthcare facility pharmaceutical company, medical device manufacturer, or other um, of, of anywhere of anyone else to refer patients at a certain rate to meet a certain quota or prescribe a specific medication, okay? Then there's medically unnecessary services. Well, obviously, if I got to go to a dentist, I go to a dentist. But there are um, medically unnecessary services. Medicaid and Medicare only reimburse for procedures and expenses that are medically necessary. If you believe your doctor is suggesting procedures, imaging, or other medical um, process, it can only minimally uh, uh, related to your condition 
or it does not seem relevant to your treatment. The referral may be medically unnecessary in violation of federal health care rules. Number three. This is number three. That was number four. This is number three. Failure to properly charge Medicare and Medicaid patients for prescriptions. In a March... Um, in a March case, March 2nd, 2014 case, a, a popular grocery, grocery store pharmacy was found to be offering in-store discounts to customers not receiving Medicare or Medicaid coverage while charging the government full price for the same medication for Medicare and Medicaid patients. This is a violation of program rules and can often result in a successful false claims act against the pharmacy. Under the rules, a pharmacy may charge Medicare and Medicaid patients fair market value for the, for the drug, which can be the same amount. Now, uh, before I go to number two, anything you want to say in regards to that? Try not to eat while I'm talking to you. And charge the patient and the insurance company. That, that's medical for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, allowing nurses and staff to perform examinations. Uh, under Medicare and Medicaid, um, billing rules, uh, certain procedures, <clears throat> certain procedures may only be performed by a physician. An emerging trend, however, is to allow nurses or office staff to handle routine outpatient procedures while billing the government for the cost of doctor time to perform the work. Um, In this case, this comes to uh, getting a whistleblower attorney. Um... The conversation is free and will remain confidential. A whistleblower is uh, something uh, where if if um, a whistleblower is someone that sees something wrong and um, reports. reports it immediately is known as a whistleblower attorney. Yep. Okay. Number one, upcoding. Probably the most common method of defrauding the government, upcoding involves uh, billing services that were either never rendered or billing for one similar service, uh, similar but cheaper (coughs) service actually provided. Uh, Similar practice describes number two above uh, in this website. Uh, illegally upcoding uh, costs of federal government millions of dollars per case can be detected through um, the review of a bill. For more information on this um, information, you can go to www.burgermontalk.com uh, and uh, dash Q- uh, QTAM healthcare fraud. Um, healthcare fraud is millions and millions of dollars in this country um, that should never happen. Um, there are several services here in the state of Vermont that people can avail themselves to. Um, one of them is the Attorney General's Office. Uh, let me see. Attorney General. Mm-hmm. Uh, state of Vermont. Mm-hmm. Okay. Attorney General's office. Um, scam <clears throat> scam attempts are remaining high. Let me see. Here. Okay. Top uh in terms of twenty twenty. Um I'm I'm going to the um According to the VD, 
the VT Digger here. Um, the top 10 scams of 2020 of last year um, released by the Attorney General's Office of Vermont. Uh, this is according to March 3rd, 2021. And the VT Digger, www.vtdigger.com. Um, Vermonters filed... Uh, Five thousand and twenty one five zero two one scams that were reported to the Attorney General's Consumer Assistance Program, CAP, in 2020. The Social Security number phishing scam is where uh, people claim to be, um, you know, this is Social Security office, your number has been compromised. Um, and sometimes people being the IRS, but the IRS doesn't call you on the phone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, according to Attorney General T.J. Donovan, uh, who urges Vermonters to take it slow, scammers will pressure you to act fast, demanding personal information and payment while threatening extreme consequences if you do not comply. Do not let them pressure you. Um, let me ask this also so I can go. Forward. Um, if you, according to the Attorney General's office, if you suspect a call, uh, wait, I just said, okay. Um, if you suspect anything, contact uh, the uh, Attorney General's office by going to www.ago.vermont.gov. Um, forward slash C-A-P, forward slash stopping scams. Uh, the Office of Attorney General, uh, T.J. Donovan, if you suspect a scam, um, you can track a scam by signing up at the Attorney General's Office website. Uh, sign for scam alerts. <clears throat> Um, this is, and we have a couple of minutes left here. Scam and fraud cost for Vermont, uh, cost Vermonters thousands of dollars each year. Scammers use each tool available to steal money and information from consumers. Since most scams originate overseas, um, most, and use sophisticated technology, we can't, we, uh, the, Attorney General's office cannot stop them uh, with traditional law enforcement means alone. To stop scams, we must work together to, perfect, to protect uh, Vermonters from losses, scams, and fraud. Here's how. Get involved. Knowledge is, is power. You can sign up um, on the Facebook page or Federal Trade Commission scams alerts site. <clears throat> uh, you can spread the word. You can stop the, stop the scam. The most common scams uh, for people to be aware of. IRS debt collection, number one. Computer tech support. Phishing. Debt collection. Business targeted scams. Unclaimed funds. Grants, rebates, and settlements. Phony gift cards. They make you buy a gift card and they mm -hmm. try to scam the elderly. Medical products and supplies, insurance and prescription scams, phony prizes, lotteries and sweepstakes. Grand um now grandparent and other imposter scams. Um hello, this is your relative. I'm in jail. I need such and such money to get out of jail. That's a big scam. Um Craigslist Online scams, but the medical scams is a huge, huge one. So let's click that. Callers claim to be Medicare and Medicaid seeking personal information or claiming the authorized provider and medical supplies, prescriptions, or other services. Please, according to the Attorney General's office, please verify with your insurance provider separately or your physician, never, never give out your social security number or information to a caller, okay? 
And the phishing scam is more important too. Attempts to collect personal and sensitive information, which <clears throat> typically is used to steal someone's identity in most common phishing scams, the the perpetrator claim is claimed to call from a person's bank and requires personal information to reactivate their account. <clears throat> their account. Never give personal information, so security number, um, uh, house number, cell phone number, uh, um, family number, spouse's number, any information like that. Um, now, now, yeah. Any kind of personal information. Hmm? I don't answer the phone. Yeah. Um, calls, uh, now talk about, um, the gift card scams. This is, um, calls, mailing, emailing, claims that you are eligible for a government grant and uh, unclaimed rebate or settlement may be used for unclaimed funds. No legitimate grant will require you to pay a fee for processing if you find, if you find that out and there are unclaimed funds in your name, please contact the Vermont, uh, Vermont Treasurer's Office. So, as you see, there are a lot of uh, scams out there and we must uh, beware of those. Uh, if someone claims to be from Social Security, hang up. If someone claims to be from the IRS, hang up. If someone claims to be um, f uh, one of the biggest scams, I think, is Publishers Clearinghouse. Yeah, I'm just going to say that they're the biggest. Oh, oh, you won, you won, you won this, you won that. Yeah, that's bull. That's bull. That's a lot of bull. I don't believe them. I think that. Yeah, I, um, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, we're not scammers. Yes, you are. I'm sorry, Ed McMahon, but we do not believe in your cause. Um, Ed, you know, uh, Rest in peace. Rest in rest in peace, Egg McMahon, with the publishers clearing house. But um, those are the things you and if if they decide to, if the publishers clearing house sends you a package, don't do it. Uh, don't 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 sign up. Yeah, um, you know. So real quick. Um, Three things that people with special needs or anybody watching this program should be aware of. Um, the IRS doesn't call you. They no, send you. They send you. They send you a letter. Okay. So. They always send you a letter. and Social Security will send you a letter, but you have to be very careful. Mm -hmm. if, Don't answer it. Don't answer the phone if, at all. Okay. If a person with a disability has been swindled, that's the word, has been swindled uh, with a, a social security scam or claims to be a scam, you can contact the national number for social security, 1-800-772-1213. That number again for social security administration, 1-800-772-1213. And for those th Vermonters who need help, with uh, the Attorney General's office, you can go to www.ago.vermont.gov forward slash CAP stopping scams. Again, www.ago.vermont.gov forward slash CAP forward slash stopping scams. Okay, um, again, this puts an end to, the, uh, you know, we, we care about our special Vermonters, and we care about Vermonters, and it's extremely important that um, you guys um, beware of and, and keep your wallet safe. If anyone has been suspected of ID theft um, or has... Yeah, yeah, no, but if anyone has been um, 
has uh, had their wallet stolen stolen lately. Police. Yeah. It, just call, your, call your credit card companies and tell them your card was stolen. Yeah. Um, this is how, wait, 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 I'm not, I'm not finished yet. Hold on one second. Don't jump the gun, please. Uh, it, if you've been, susp- if you have gotten your um, wallet stolen or any ID stolen, please contact your local police department, contact your credit card companies, and um, stop your uh, credit cards immediately. Uh And one more time, that social security number, if you've been the the victim of uh, theft of your social security numbers or your social security card or you need a replacement, um, please call 1-800-772-1213 and they will send you a uh, a social security application, um, you know, so on and so forth. This puts an end to this edition of Able to On Air. Thank you to our sponsors, uh, Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many, many others. I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm on Seiler. See you next time. Please be careful. Ableton On Air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners with Ableton On Air include Yachad New York and New England, where everyone belongs, and the Orthodox Union. Ableton On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parkchester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www.h.com.